So our first presenter is uh, Jacob Bisla. Uh, Jacob is a candidate for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Uh, I'd like to think of Jacob as a student with a lot of skills in computer engineering, computer programming, and architecture. And I think that if he applies himself and finds the right corporate match, uh, he'd probably do very well. Today, uh, Jacob is going to talk to us about uh, what he's done for his senior thesis. The title of his talk is Remote Control Side Mirror Wipers for Increased Safety. So, without, uh, without any further ado, let me introduce Jacob Nisla to the journey of free seminar series. Thank you, Dr. Pong. All right, like, like he said, uh, Patrick, here is um, Remote Control Side Mirror Wipers for Increased Safety in Driving Conditions. My name is Jacob Nisla. Um, oh, uh, like I said, I'm a computer engineer here at ENC, graduating soon. So uh, yeah, let's begin. So first, I want to start off with a cartoon. You know, it's uh, two cats driving, and um, it's why cats shouldn't drive in the rain. And it's because uh, obviously they'd be more interested in the wipers, and they don't have thumbs, so I don't think they can get the steering wheel very well. So. Continuation. Um, here is a joke that I, I find very uh, funny. It's a little engineering joke to break the ice. And it is uh, a red wire and a black wire walking down the street. And the red wire turns to the black wire and asks, Hey man, why are you so upset? And the black wire responds, oh, I've been grounded. So, uh, yeah, just to break the ice a little bit. So, um, my project here is uh, side mirror wipers. Um, it was created to increase safe, um, safety and visibility for a driver so that uh, people around the driver and the driver himself can uh, see in his blind spots when he's merging on the road or uh, um, on the parkway, the throughway, wherever he's driving. Because uh, a lot of the times there is a residue of, of droplets that are, that are there on the wipers and you can't really see clearly in, um, in spring showers or or whatever the what rain gets kicked up on your on your mirrors. So I want to make a uh, cheap, effective, and uh, easy to assemble um, way of clearing that residue off. So um, I want to make something that like that mothers, fathers, or people that um, can do it themselves and not have to worry about going to a uh, a dealer or um, or some place to get the maintenance done. And I want something that. You don't have to drill a wire, um, drill a hole to feed a, feed a wire through to connect to the battery, so it has its own um, kind of power source, and um, be, be very simple and very cheap to, to get as well. So, yeah. Um, the problem is that uh, in the past ten years, there's over a million car crashes, and um, those were due, uh, well, half of them were due for for rain and um, decreased visibility, and uh, because of that, people have uh, their slicked roads. Um, there's lots of rain, so people can't really see out of their front windshield. And um, as you're merging, there are people sideswiping each other because they can't really see. So um, it's a big problem, and a lot of them, uh, over half of them, were uh, fatalities, you know, and, and uh, a lot of uh, people are also injured because of that. So um, the solution would have been, would be the side wiper mirror. It uh, increases visibility. It takes those block blind spots out so you can see where you're merging, and um, less residue would equal increased safety. The requirements. So um, on a top level design of the, of the, the system, um, requirements would be that it has to clean the residue. Like if you, don't, if you have the system and it's not doing what it has to do, then you're not going to have to see increased safety. And it also has to be remote controlled. So uh, if the driver's inside, he doesn't want to have to reach out the window when it's raining to flip a switch, so it has to be inside where he is in the dry weather and uh, the receiver outside in the, the wet weather. Um, I also wanted to have it solar powered. So um, that was another top level thing where it, where it have, a, have some sort of um, energy out there to uh, have it be a, an individual power source and have a driving mechanism because if this is a system, um, if this is a system that needs a, needs a wiper to be moved, then there has to be some sort of thing driving that wiper going around. For a lower, lower level requirements, um, it needed something that's lightweight, like a lightweight wiper, so that it can slide around, um, slide over the mirror, and um, a belt, so that the, mirror, um, the wiper can be driven across that. Um, and I wanted to have the minimum amount of sweeps necessary to clean the wiper. So, uh, like further on, um, like I was, I was hoping to have it like around three, three wipes to clean the, um, the mirror. 
uh, and also have a frequency of 29 to 30 megahertz. So that's a, a um, I guess, typical frequency. So a lot of like remote controlled cars and all things like that have RF frequency. You usually use that or 24 megahertz. Um, like I said, I want to have an individual uh, power source so it can be out there um, and powering itself rather than having to drive it to the battery of the car because that's just a lot of work and a lot of hassle and a lot of people wouldn't want to do that themselves so it would be cost extra to do that. Um, and then the motor. So the motor uh, is uh, one of the key, sa key aspects to this system. The motor is going to be uh, one of the things that are driving this entire system. So. Um, as I was doing uh, research for this, I had to look for some patents. Um, and the patents, what I found were uh, that a lot of um, patents that were out, well, I only stumbled across about two, um, they were for 18-wheelers. Now, 18-wheelers uh, are, I mean, I guess uh, there's a lot of 18-wheelers, but people that I know, people around here, don't really drive 18-wheelers. They're driving SUVs, sedans, hatchbacks, or whatever. And, um, those don't have 18 wheels. So, um, the, uh, for my system, I was figuring make it for those kind of cars so that people uh, in everyday use would have increased safety. Also, the wipers were integrated into the mirror. So, uh, if you want to detach it and put it on a new car, for say, or, uh, or have it from one car, say you, get, you do, do get into an accident and put it on your new car, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that because it's stuck in that mirror. Um, and the mirrors are really big for an 18-wheeler, so you wouldn't be able to put that on your car because uh, regular cars, uh, sedans, are, uh, have smaller mirrors than 18-wheelers. And the last thing that, uh, that, that uh, the patents had were that it was on a pivot. Now, that means that the wiper is in the middle of the mirror, and it swings from side to side, just like how, uh, how it does on, on a windshield wiper. Um, that leaves residue in the bottom corners and also in the top where the wiper comes down. And also, there's a wiper in the middle of the mirror, which means that you have uh, something blocking your view already on the mirror, which doesn't really make sense, any sense to me. So uh, yeah, I was figuring, try and work around this to make a wiper that is more effective and for someone that, that uh, drives a regular everyday car. On the principles, so why? use side mirror wipers. Um, I think it's an easy solution to visibility issues. Um, I think it's simple and cost effective. Um, everybody can, can purchase one if it's cheap. Um, it would increase safety, so increase uh, road conditions, and um, it can combat midday showers. So uh, every time you walk outside and the, the pavement smells really nice and you get into your car but you have the, the rain on your side, you can't really see to back out of your parking spot, it's a way to get out of there. Um, so, my architecture. Uh, we start off with the side mirror wiper the overall um, system. And um, one of the key aspects is the RF transmitter. I'll show some pictures in a little bit. Um, the RF transmitter will be going inside of the car, and it is, uh, it is what you use to control the system. Um, the RF receiver, that's going to be outside on the mirror, and that is what receives the signal that when the button's pushed on the transmitter. Um, here's a solar panel with a battery, uh, solar panel and a battery power source. Um, boom, motor. That's what we need to drive the mechanism. Belts and gear. There we go. I saw that anvil drop. That's pretty cool. And the wiper, which cleans the system. So this is the overall ar architecture. This is what the system will look like, what it, what it uh, consists of, and um, what is necessary to, to make it. Um, so here's a block diagram, some pictures to put with what um, I just showed you on the architecture. Start off with the transmitter. The transmitter has a left and right button, so you can control where you, where you want it to go. Boom, the receiver. Receiver has a, the, um, it receives a signal, the RF frequency. Uh, yeah, then we have the motor. Motor is, uh, it runs on six volts, which is pretty good because uh, batteries easily can drive six volts. Um, and it also has a, a range of 90 RPMs to 293 RPMs, which are roto rotations per minute, which is actually really good for a, motor that is very small. It's a micro DC motor, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, then we have solar panel. The solar panels, uh, uh, I'll show you in a little bit with the research I've done. They can uh, drive three volts to, um, to 10 volts, depending on what kind of uh, panel you, you buy. And the wiper. A wiper is a light, lightweight uh, material. It is a, uh, um, it's actually a wiper refill. And um, what it is is malleable, you know, something that you need to, to get around curbs. Um, uh, sorry, concaves, whatever, to wipe the corners of the mirror. 
So in my lab, we've research. This is uh, two pictures of what I've done, and this is on a transmitter switch. So uh, what I wanted to try and do was, uh, was see how the voltage would react when I pressed the button. So what I have is right here is the button's pressed. Here's a zero, one, zero, one. This means off, on, off, on. And that's me pressing the buttons. And right here is the response that I got when I did that. So I have a peak and then a decrease, because that means that uh, it went, it's off, on, off. And as you can see, it kind of uh, goes with what I was pressing here. So uh, that was just how I, how I can see how the uh, voltage would react. And, um, and as you can see also, if I had the motor going, it would take a little time for it to, uh, to turn off. So as we continue, boom, here's my solar search. So the solar panels, um, right now there's solar panels that are really small, like the one I showed you before. But um, those are for like calculators to power the, the screens of the calculators as um, you used to use uh, all the time. Um, those panels um, can charge from uh, 1.2 volts to 3 volts, which uh, is good. But like I said before, my micro DC motor needed 6 volts. So I was looking online and all that stuff, and for a, a different sum of money, uh, yeah, the solar panels could have an output voltage of 5 to 10, and then as if you pay more, you can have them go uh, be a bigger voltage. Now, to get a better voltage, you're going to need a bigger panel. So I needed to find a, pa uh, a panel that would be uh, suitable to fit on top of what I was trying to make, which is something which is the size of a mirror. And um, it's kind of hard to find a 6 volt panel that would fit on top of a mirror. So I personally chose solar energy, a uh, solar panel, because of the fact that it's free energy. There's no moving parts, so nothing gets jammed. Um, if I just put it on top of the mirror, I'd be able to charge up a capacitor or whatever I put on the back, and I'd be able to charge the system and power it with uh, no cost at all. And it's easy, don't have to replace it often. It can power up to like 40 years, and it, it's a, a pretty suitable energy, um, energy source for a system so small. Um, so here's my overall system. Um, I personally use wood because I tried to, I was doing some research on seeing how to use uh, plastic, and I figured that I'm not a very suitable uh, um, contractor for melting plastic and all that stuff, and I figured I'd burn my hands off. Um, but here's a motor that I, I put on the corner, and an axle on the other side, and the belt goes around it, and the wiper goes down on the side. The wiper is sitting on the, on the side of the mirror, and here's a transmitter. There's a left and right button right here. When you press right, the wiper slides to the right, and will sit next to the axle. When you press left, it goes the other way. Um, the, the receiver has an antenna, and um, with that antenna has a range of like about nine feet. Uh, here's the receiver over here. The receiver has an on and off switch. Um, in my testing, I, I found that uh, on and off switch is very suitable for the receiver. So uh, yeah, in continuation, here's my data. Uh, it takes about two to three swipes to clean the mirror, which was what I was hoping, about three swipes. Um, has a, a range about nine feet for the remote to properly function, which is good because you don't usually drive um, with uh, in the proximity of, of nine feet to another car, so uh, you wouldn't have to worry about um, about messing with their wipers if they have the same thing. Um, it works on 29 megahertz, which is what I wanted. Um, it's a a very uh, popular frequency, and um, the left and right buttons on the transmitter function well. Um, when I press right, it went right, and depending on the, the amount I pressed it, it would go for that, that long. Um, the only problem that I had was a slight residue on the bottom of the mirror because I did not have a clip to clip the, the bottom of the wiper to, so the, um, as the mirror is um, bent in, say you, you're trying to look, look down towards the handles of, of the sidecar and your mirror is on an angle, I didn't have something to clip that to the bottom of the mirror, so there was slight residue on the bottom. Um, for the future, what I was hoping to do was get a plastic housing for the system so that it can be weatherproof and, and not have to worry about anything getting into the um, electronics on the inside. I want a smaller transmitter. I was hoping to do something with maybe one button that would have the one sweep and get it all in one, in one try. Um, and then a solar panel and capacitors for the system, that would charge it equal, um, very well. And a clip for the system so I can detach and attach easily and also um, clip for the, the wiper on the bottom of the, of the mirror. That's it.